all right guys i'm only including this clip because i want you to realize that i'm just like an ordinary shopper of course i didn't think you guys thought i was extraordinary but i just want you guys to know that sometimes with this shop with me videos it's a hit or miss on this day pep home wasn't stocked up like some shelves were very empty so i had to return later on in the month once they had restocked the store and stuff so this was a fail all right guys so the i hope it's not echoing but like yo i'm disappointed by pep home usually when i go like there's a lot like of organizational stuff like i've showed you guys in the lot of um like the the shop with me videos that i've shot for you guys there's usually a lot but today like disappointment like there were no canisters there were there's basically nothing i tried to show you guys a, a little like a few things but yeah there was nothing so i'm gonna try again next month not this month um i am financially stretched <laughs> just gonna give you guys a quick haul of the things that i got I did get like the canisters, the smaller kind. I feel like there's something on my face. Okay. So these were. Why do I feel like? Oh, is, is it the light on my nose? These were 27 rands. They're like small. I'm thinking maybe in here I can put like um, popcorn kernels. Is it kernels? I don't know what it's called. It sucks because then I won't even organize my floating shelves today because I feel like, I don't know, I'm just demotivated by the fact that I don't have canisters and all that kind of stuff. I do already have a few canisters. I have this big one that I bought at Crazy Plastics. I mean, I could have went to Crazy Plastics, but like, Pep Home is more affordable. I'd rather be patient and wait. Why do I feel like this is not going to label the things that I want? Oh, no. It's not, uh, I knew something was off. This doesn't have like the flour, the what, but the other one has like flour, the food storage stuff. This is, oh, living, oh, they're different. Oh, I'm upset now, but it's fine. Moving on in our haul, I got, curtains because i don't have any curtains and i don't like my neighbor walking past and looking at me or when i'm washing the dishes now i'm forced to breathe through the window <laughs> so i don't like that i got these they were 90 rands i don't know how i feel about them i really don't but i feel like maybe it'll fit the vibe and the aesthetic but i was hoping for you know something striped not checkered but checkered pattern is in so i don't know i don't know I didn't get a tension rod because I wanted to get a tension rod for these. But yeah, um, I got curtain just like in a privacy. And then I got a tea towel. This was 20, 30 rands. I feel like it's cute, it's nice and simple. Got a tea towel mainly because uh, when the cleaning lady came, I showed her like the cloths that were in the sink and I think she used them all to clean up the whole house so I had to get new dish cloths so I got these grey ones like I feel like these could be cleaning cloths but anyways we're gonna use them for dish cloths it's microfiber cloths um, so I'm gonna so I'm at least color coordinating that the grey is for like the kitchen and the dishes and stuff and then I got this uh, dish brush you put your soap in there and then you like scrub you know I think it's it's aesthetically pleasing I don't know why I'm going with the gray vibe because like the curtain is gray that's gray gray I don't know why why I was just pulling gray stuff but you know the vibe my kitchen black white with um, wood pieces or bamboo a touch of bamboo so last but not least, I got this huge canister. This was 80 rands. Yeah, it was 80 rands. 
it's cream color it has little specks on it i don't know if you guys will be able to see the details and then there's a bamboo lid which i won't need because i've been looking for a nice big cute canister i mean it's just a canister it's not cute because i wanted to use it as a utensil holder i don't like this one although this one matches the aesthetic of the kitchen very well but like i've seen like a lot of designed homes where they have this canister and it it's filled with obviously like the black stuff and everything i don't want it in here i just want like the wooden pieces like it looks so nice when it's filled with wood um wooden spoons and wood whatnots like i feel like this looks nice so i want to get more wooden spoons and then like put them in here and then can like sit on a countertop and then like have wood like wooden spoons and everything coming out of it the background noise is my dryer sadly i'm gonna have to talk up talk like over the sound because i don't want to stop it because i'm relying on the clothes in the dryer because they are my outfit for today <laughs> so um went to pep home they didn't have much they were still kind of restocking but there was not like there was no stock in the store so today i want to go get two or three things maybe first of all i want to go get fabric so that we can start working on the curtain for the kitchen because that is a no-no honey that is a no-no um <laughs> luckily i've survived my parents coming here and i've never heard my dad throw a jab at it and i'm sure i was gonna be my feel actually i'm not attached to the curtain the temporary curtain that i have up there it was 90 rands from pep home i just wanted privacy that's why i have it there so we need to go to a fabric store and get fabric for the window treatment we're gonna have on there my hand is tired and then i'm gonna try again to go to pep home and see if they have any organizational stuff as in like canisters and stuff so on this day i went back to pep home they had a couple of things on sale like this basket it was 89 rands 99 cents and a couple of vases guys do not sleep on pep home vases I'm a bit exhausted so this voiceover might just go south but they had a lot of beautiful pep home vases and they also had um, beautiful jars for planters and stuff I just want to show you guys nice concepts although I feel like the succulent already has like this faux succulent already has a cute you know um, pot plant but I just wanted to show you guys the options that they had and honestly Pep Home keeps stepping up their game. I want to go back again just so I can give you guys an updated Pep Home shop with me video. Comment down below if you guys would like that but usually you guys enjoy my Pep Home shop with me videos. I'm just showing you guys more of the decorative stuff and I couldn't get the, the lights out of the draw, not the draw, what is that, the shelf that they were on because i don't know like it was difficult so i just had to show you guys most of the lamps where they were without forcing them out or trying to show you guys because i knew i was going to end up breaking it and if you are new to my channel we do anything creative home living diys makeovers renovations shop with me videos meal preps anything that has to do with us living creatively within our home we do it on my channel so if you are intrigued by that content and you love such content please don't forget to subscribe and anyways i loved that art i contemplated going back for it maybe edit in the bathroom or something i don't know but guys pep home has affordable you know um lamp shades or hanging light shades if that makes sense usually i don't gravitate towards the sketter cushions that pep home has but i'm starting to realize that they are very nice and then on the furniture side of things this is a beautiful shelf it was 170 rands and also the hanging hooks i thought that was cute and they were 110 rands and i'm going to show you more on the furniture side these side tables are beautiful usually if you're looking for side tables they are more on the expensive side 
of you know the spectrum but i feel like pep home gives you that nice medium where you don't have to spend a lot of money yes some of them are a bit expensive but i feel like if you were to buy it in a different store it will be a whole lot more expensive than what they are offering you so if you're looking for an affordable side table or maybe a small little coffee table or you want to you know stack up your coffee table and like have nesting tables i would highly suggest you come to pep home and have a look at what they have in stock because their stuff is adorable guys i don't want to lie and i feel like you know you shouldn't be sleeping on it as, as far as storage solutions as well and organizational solutions i wouldn't sleep on it back on the sketch cushion side i found this print very interesting and more of their prints more interesting so i'm gonna start keeping an eye out for their sketch cushion covers because it's clear they are finally coming through i am applauding pep home like they they are making sure that they keep us broke <laughs> So anyways, if you guys don't have storage in your kitchen, there's a kitchen trolley that they have where you can store pods or store additional stuff, which is very nice for, you know, the small smaller kitchens or if you don't have enough, you know, worktop space that could substitute and more on their side tables. And guys, look at these storage bins. Shein has the very same storage bins. I suggest that you come to Pep Home if you're not willing to sorry about that guys got cut off there but I, as i was saying i re highly suggest you go to pep home and shop their storage solutions if you're not willing to you know wait for shein deliveries or paying customs at shein you could easily go to pep home i love these storage bins that are collapsible that way you can store them away nicely and then more on the vases that they have i have the this vase and i was shocked to see it in amber and oh I really want to get this vase. I'm gonna go back for this vase, guys. I love tinted glass, like I said, amber tinted glass. It glass, to be more specific. This vase was very heavy. Like I know we usually associate heavy items with quality, but yeah, it felt like quality. And more on these bubble vases. I don't know what they're called, but they are so cute. I am also going to go back for these ones. I find them unique and I think they're very nice. And these unique vases, like I've said in my previous Pep Home Shop With Me videos, if you don't like the color of the vase, Pep Home is so affordable that if you just love the shape, you can always spray paint and change up the color of the vase. And they had a lot of battery operating lights, which is very good in this day and age with this load shedding that has us in a chokehold. So most of their lights were battery operating. So I suggest you get the rechargeable batteries because batteries can run out at some point in time with the way load shedding is going. And what I love about Pep Home is that they will give you something that looks expensive and then they're just gonna say it's 80 rands are you kidding me they want us broke for sure and then more on their candles candles can be expensive this day and age and i would say go for the affordable version and pep home is bumping up their scents guys they had room sprays which i did take the time to you know sniff a few and they smell nice and then more on the peel and stick uh, tiles that you can get for renter friendly options if you don't like the backsplash in your kitchen and more on the scents as well you can put this in your car you can put this in your kitchen drawer or with your socks or with your shoes i mean the options are very endless I moved right along to their rug section and I found this very nice but I'm more of a cream warm tones type of person I don't like cool tones but I like this jute rug and I felt the texture it is not too rough but I feel like it was too small for my living room so I left it there I was just looking at the clearance section honestly if something is 150 rands or something and you're still gonna revamp it i feel like it's not necessarily really worth it unless if you get it for a lower price that's just my opinion comment down below what's your mark of how much you're willing to spend on something just so you can revamp it i'm a diy so i'm always thinking about things like that and then on the kitchen section i got i got this metal pen rack and it was 55 rands and honestly you can always use this for your plates instead of just the pans and you guys know i thrive in using certain items not for what they're intended to 
use them for i've used these spice rags for cans in my parents organizational video i will link it up on the screen and down below in the description box so you guys can have a look at that it was a very affordable organizational pantry hack and then more on decorative stuff and food storage systems that are very affordable imagine six um what's that containers storage containers food storage containers for just 100 rands and then I've showed you guys this section in my previous video, so I don't want to bore you guys with going over this. But if you're new to my channel, I will gladly link my other Pep Home Shop With Me videos up and down in the description box so you guys can check them out. I love these side plates, but I already created many sets of side plates and plates. I stayed away. And guys, if you need a charcuterie board, I've checked out a lot of awesome charcuterie boards charcuterie boards that are very expensive and honestly drag yourself to pep home because why does this look so good and it comes in several sizes there's a smaller size there's a big size i will show you guys the size difference in terms of why you're paying more for the other one and i mean the shapes are different and they're so beautiful but i only got one instead of all of them even though i wanted to grab all of them because i want different wood variations in my kitchen but if you are interested in any of these um this is what they look like and instead of spending like paying an arm and a leg for a charcuterie board you can easily get one at pep home for less than 200 rands and then onto the dish drying mats they were beautiful if you don't like the pattern you can always you know flip it on the other side and it's just going to be a plain color they had a couple of colors but i didn't like the ones that they had maybe if they had something on the nude side i'll go for that and i like these uh dish uh what is it brushes and they look good on the placement side i've showed you guys these before so i don't want to get into that but i did like this specific one um it's neutral and it's made out of cloth uh, it's easy to wash but back to the point that we are here for we are here for the canisters guys and they had them in stock this time around so i got a couple and i called it a day i will be cutting this video short because i don't want it to be too long so i will show you guys my pep home haul in the next video alongside with us organizing my pantry i hope you stay tuned and i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to subscribe and i forgot to say goodbye and record an outro but anyway see you guys next time